You know, this new year, this new year really started off with a bang. When this year started, it started off with so much promise. I was extremely gung-ho, looking forward, so positive. Everything is in my grasp. You know, we had a bunch of good group rides first thing, beginning of the year. <laughs> I really told myself, it's time to start making videos again, really give it a shot. I go out and I buy an extremely expensive laptop. I'm all in, I'm buying in. I feel like, I'm not gonna say I gave up last year, but I got too busy for this. And I've got time now. This year, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right. I go out and I buy a good laptop that I can edit on. So I go and I hang out at the 30 Shame one night. Just trying to learn how to use Final Cut Pro, it's something new to me. Hanging out, talking to Josh, he's uses it, so he's giving me tips and this, that, and the other. Going home to go see my mom. She just got off of a six day work week. She's an older lady, her body hurts. So I stopped to grab her sushi on the way home. She deserved it. How are you feeling? Like you were drinking last night? Yeah, you were. So I stopped and I grabbed my mom some sushi, and on the way home, something not so awesome happened. Some guy who was running a little bit late to the Celine Dion concert, decided to come across four lanes of traffic to make a left-hand turn. Now, mind you, I'm in the far left lane. So what do you think happened next? Hey, what's up? what are you doing here? Hey, what's up, man? I'm getting my bike service. That ugly thing? Have, have you seen my gorgeous lady? She's, she's due for her 15,000 mile. Oh, she's a youngin. Sweet girl. Have you seen mine? He wanted to go to a Celine Dion concert last week. <laughs> this all sounds like a joke, but the guy hit me because he was late for the Celine Dion concert. Jesus Christ. A fucking handbrake broke on my hand. Oh, no shit. Yeah, that's look all that at happened? how bent that is. Man, it could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. All I remember was, next day I know, out of the corner of my eye, I just see a car shooting in front of me. At that exact moment, I knew three things. No avoiding this. I'm gonna hit him. Number two, my brain said, this is gonna suck. Deal with it. And three, my brain said, get off as fast as possible. Long story long, I hit the ground. Cops show up, everything, EMTs. Luckily, no broken bones. So the next morning I go to the hospital and I get CAT scans and x-rays and your usual stuff. No internal bleeding, always a plus. Um, I'm gonna admit, I laid in bed for a couple of days. My entire right side, trashed. Neck hurts, shoulder hurts, giant bruise in my inner thigh, scraped the crap out of my knee. Today has been, eh, a little over two weeks, still limping, but you know. It happens. After the accident, I took the sports store down to the ride factory as it's the only place I had ever taken that bike for anything that's ever happened to it. First thing Brian said to me was, he thinks they're gonna total it. So again, as I laid in bed in complete pain, I'm also racking my brain with what's gonna happen to my sports store. That thing is mine. That thing was my motorcycle. That thing was an identity. That thing gave me a livelihood, it gave me friendships, it gave me a purpose, it gave me something to do with my life with. I didn't know what was gonna happen to it. And it, it was just it was just very, very strange having to figure out of do I want them to total it? Because guess what? If it total it, I get something new. What's wrong with something new? But that was my bike. I didn't want to lose my bike. So I know a lot of you are wondering what's the fate of the sportster. We'll see what's going on with that. But today, we start a new story. <laughs>